Peace and blessings is the God by the noble. Those of you who know me, you're following my page, you're loving my page, you're subscribing to my page, you're adding my channels. You're making sure you follow me on uh, Facebook under No Slack and Black Panther, under Master Peaceful, under the Keep It Real uh, TV, under To Recruit Black Guys, and also my Yamasi House of Indigenous Sagamores page. It's called the Yamasi Tribe of Indigenous Sagamores. I'm here to talk to you about the uh, recent what we would want to say uh, people who have been incarcerated in the city of High Point, North Carolina due to the 100 and I think 67 guns or 65 guns that have been seized in this city in this county. Now my question is I want to get on my YouTube channel today and I want to talk about how to trap a lion. The reason I want to talk about how to trap a lion because it's a very important factor for the people who live in my community and the surrounding cities and I need for you to follow me as I do give you light and shed light on what I'm talking about when I'm speaking on how to trap a lion. I didn't put this out on my YouTube channel but I think it is very well needed for those of you who are like minded and you understand what I'm saying or overstanding what I'm saying and you're able to create or manifest a path for yourself which your divine spirit has already created for you. Only thing you have to do is tune in and tap in to who you really are which is the God within yourself now what I need for you to do is to understand that every lion has a tamer but before that lion was tamed by this you know the, the person who came and tamed him you have to understand that before this person decided to be that he probably wanted to be a zookeeper now everybody or somebody in this world has an idea of being somebody that they never been before, being something that they never been before. So a zookeeper starts out and the zookeeper has no building. But once he gets a building, he has to understand that he needs animals to, you know what I'm saying, convey this building. You understand what I'm saying? So he has all types of rooms, cells, tanks. You understand what I'm saying? And I look at, at these places as prisons. The reason I'm saying that is because when I break down this story of how to trap a lion, you'll very well understand why I'm pertaining to the zookeeper. Also, why I, at the same time I'm pertaining to the Negro, Black, and colored people of our separate divisions of the United States of so-called America, which we call Turtle Island. So while I break this down and manifest the truth within my own divine spiritual self, I hope that you can take flight and follow me on what I'm talking about. For those of you who like, subscribe, and share this channel, there will be uh, ways for you to be able to get in contact with me, for you to be able to better educate yourself. At the same time, there will also be ways for you to be able to help me help others by at least subscribing and liking and donating to Deful Ali, which is my cash app. Uh, it's D-F-U-L-L-E-R-A-L-I, which is my cash out name, uh, if you feel like these videos are very well needed for your community and your people. But the zookeeper starts out, and he has a building, and he doesn't have any animals. He has to go out, and he has to find animals to, to, to convey this zoo. You understand what I'm saying? To run this zoo for people to be able to come and, and see what they like about these animals in this zoo. So... He goes out and he has to, you know what I'm saying, do whatever he has to do to trap the animals. But the way that you trap a lion. See, when you go into a lion's original habitat, you have to find out what the food source is. Once you find out what the food source is for this lion to maintain its healthy ways of life or living, you will then want to drive the food source out. Now, once you drive the food source out, there's no way for this lion to be able to eat. So, therefore, this lion becomes then... As you would want to say, the lion comes up with options. Options on whether to go down this path or whether to go down this path. The path that's easy or the path that is long-suffering and hard. So, therefore, this lion has no choice but to come to a poacher or somebody who has what he needs to be able to eat. So, when this lion becomes so hungry to the point where he has no food, he comes to this trap. This poacher set this trap because he knows that this lion's food source has been drove out and it's the only way that he can eat is to come to this trap and try to get the food out the trap. Now, see, that's what's going on in our corporate America right now this very day where every animal from the animals of the, of the air, from the animals of the sea, or the animals of the land, they've all been, you know what I'm saying, their food source has been drove out some type of way to where they've been trapped by this poacher. And see what's going on in America right now. That's what's going on with our youth, our young men who are now growing up. You know what I'm saying? The baby boys or the daughters who are now growing up, who are becoming grown or, or youth. 
You understand what I'm saying? They're led into this world to feel as if going to school and getting an education, which education is the study of mental, physical, moral, and mental powers. So once somebody understands how you operate, they then know how to deal with you or how to handle you. If you're somebody who is very hard to deal with, they end up luring you into this thing called the trap. That's why they call the, the internet enter the net. Not trying to be funny if you're somebody who feel like you're smart and you know how to move and once you end up getting introduced to the internet you become trapped in this internet and this internet is the reason why a lot of people end up being tracked down and killed and all this other thing is because they end up putting all their business out when they didn't used to do it at one time before. But anyway, how you trap this line is you got to take the food source out. Now when you think about High Point, North Carolina, not trying to be funny, this the furniture market of the world they make investments out the furniture market the furniture market capital and, and what's going on here is they took the real estate out they took the jobs out they made it hard for the people who live in this community in this city to thrive they've also built the university in the year 2019 which is expanding they built it before 2019, but the High Point University is expanding and taking over everything. So it's driving all the elderly people out of their original ways of living, from their land masses, from their ownership of homes. And they're going to be in people who used to be owners to renters and, and from people who used to be sellers to buyers. You understand what I'm saying? And they're buying things that are not of the need for them to live, but it's only something that they feel like is materialistic to help them look good. But at the end of the day, they're not producing so they're more consumers now you understand what i'm saying now the importance of this is of this video is to make people aware and understand that you are now like this lion you have been trapped you have been disclosed all from your original ways of living from your traditions from your cultures from your habitat and it's up to you to be able to realize and understand whether you're going to be a lion and wake up from the sleep or whether you're going to keep being asleep and think that you're something other than this lion if you're going to be a man and be sleep or wake up from your sleep and feel like you're other than a man because at the end of the day if you don't wake up from your sleep you're gonna if you're a man you're gonna feel like you're not of what you say you look like feel like you understand what i'm saying so i need for y'all to really realize that the zookeeper is a powerful being the barber is a powerful being before this barber decided to be a barber you understand what i'm saying in order for him to be able to be a barber he had to have skills he had to figure out what he could do to be able to get blood scripts vice lord white black and other folk in his in his chair for him to be able to hold their head because anybody who has their hand in your head that means that you trust them with all of your heart with all your might and you're giving them everything you got to be able to give you the nicest the best the good looking is shape up a haircut that you can get you understand what i'm saying but if they don't hold their promises and they end up cutting your hair all the way off or messing you up you have to understand this barber has now put you in a predicament that you never been in before so you feel as if he's messed up your life he's trapped you now, if you can get mad and do something about that, I think that you can get mad and do something about the way we're being treated in Turtle Island. And this systematic system that's meant for the so-called black man, the indigenous Aborigi, Aboriginal Niji to fail. Please be aware of these videos. I'm going to be tuning in and putting more out there. But it's time that we wake up. It's time that we wake up from our wrongdoings. It's time that we wake up from the false beliefs. It's time that we wake up and see who the false prophets are. It's time that we wake up and separate ourselves from the visions of our people and our cultures and our traditions. And it's time that we wake up and unify once again as if we once were before. Now, the time is now. Do it under the sun and the stars and under the moon. And I guarantee you that your outcome will be great.